I'm Ivan Vukomanović, the head coach of Kerala Blasters. Well, actually, it happened, I think, maybe two years before I stopped playing football. I remember I was still playing in uh, Belgium, uh, in my team, and I remember having a conversation with my uh, ex-coach, actually, who is uh, one of the most famous uh, Belgium coaches. And uh, it was, I think, during one training session when he asked me, he took me aside and he asked me if I was uh, thinking uh, to become a coach. I was surprised and uh, he explained me certain things and he told me that it would be good if I write me in later in the coaching education program. You know, then I was uh, attracted to it. I was think started uh, to think about it. And actually in one point I, uh, I knew that I would like to do it. I knew and from the very beginning, uh, even later of coaching education, I, I knew that this job attracts me a lot and uh, I like seeing, uh, let's say, helping younger people and younger players, developing younger players, becoming better. So, because if I go back and remember the, let's say, my childhood and the football uh, path uh, that I had as a, as a young boy working with all those coaches. So actually, I realized that it is very important to see, uh, you know, helping those boys, improving them and uh, trying to actually to push them to fight their pet in a football career. So I think that was it. You know, uh, football is like, a, a, let's say, a worldwide brand. And uh, if you speak about football, if you, let's say, watch football and uh, whatever happens around football, it, it's a worldwide, you know. Then if you speak about coaching process, if you speak about coaching, coaching things, if you speak about uh, football itself, it's the same worldwide. The only thing that we as a man, especially as a human being, we have to be capable to adapt on a certain level or a certain, uh, let's say, environments where we arrive or certain countries, certain style of uh, life or football. But actually football is the, the same all over. If you speak about football, if you train, if you would like to, to play football on the highest level, it doesn't change a lot. So actually, you know, of course, it's always new and interesting when you when you speak about different challenges if you change countries if you change continents it's different you know it's it's again it's interesting and, and i like those challenges but actually it doesn't change a lot football stays football but you know it's a, it's a correct uh, and a human relationship and uh, the relationship full of confidence you know because as a player and i know uh, that feeling very well because I used to, when I look uh, at those boys now, uh, you know, I was sitting like them for 18 year long years all around the world in different uh, dressing rooms, working with different players from different countries, even today as a coach, you know, uh, it is very important to, to form kind of relationship which will bring you nice results. And when there is a huge confidence between uh, let's say among players, first of all, and later on between coaching staff, medical staff and uh, players, this kind of confidence will give everybody positive influence, which will bring you to uh, nice and good results. So actually, again, we are all human beings, you know, creating good relationship, even not only speaking in football. If you speak about having good relationship with your friends, with your family, with your uh, girlfriends, with your wife, whatever, you know, these kind of things brings you uh, joy, nice moments. And actually at the end, this is how you create something nice and especially in football. With that kind of relationship, you can create good results. So that is very important. Uh, you know, you have to know the fact that in every football team in the world, uh, automatically by itself, what happens is that uh, the creation of leadership, because it happens by itself during uh, when you form your team, when you start your prison, when you, let's say, uh, form your team automatically in the dressing room. It happens that there are certain leaders. OK, sometimes it could be that those leaders, they are older guys who can push the younger ones uh, forward. It happens sometimes that there are also younger players as a leaders, you know, good players and, uh, you know, who can impose themselves as a great leaders because they have that kind of personality. It happened to me even before, you know, in uh, previous teams as a player, as a coach, that there were different leaders, older ones, younger ones. You know, it is very important for me as a coach. It means that you have a players who are capable of 
having that balance in the dressing room, which will allow, you know, young, young players to improve, young players to have a kind of uh, image of a player who can lead them, especially in the difficult moments, especially during, let's say, in the moments of difficult games, you know. And like that, these young guys, they become better. And the leaders, they are like the coach's right hand, okay? And that's always a great relationship. And as a coach, you're always happy to have the, those kind of players, okay? So, like I said, sometimes it could be uh, an older player, sometimes it could be a uh, leader who imposes himself automatically. So, of course, as a coach, you want to have that kind of balance because, again, this is very important for good results. You know, first of all, as a, as a coach, you have to be uh, capable of recognizing is uh, recognizing your uh, your own quality. Okay, if you speak about playing a football game, it always goes to a moment like how you can use your strong points and strong sides of your, uh, let's say, the quality you possess, and how could you can use the weak points of your opponent. So, as a coach, when you prepare a game, as a coaching staff, we always look at those things. What are the strong points that we have and how we can use them to uh, achieve good results? And also by doing scouting of the opponent team, you look at weak points and you try to find a way how you can use those weak points uh, to make them pain, actually, to win the game. So these kind of things, you always look at them. Of course, there are moments in the preseason, in the season, where uh, when you are more organized, to your own qualities because you want to improve them on a certain level. Or sometimes you have to be more aware of opponents' strong points because sometimes it happens in football that you are playing against a stronger team. So like that, you have to organize your defense. And you know, in football, there are like both parts. You have to defend, you have to attack. So actually, we in our training process, we're doing everything. So actually, very important both things, how to prepare your team to play offensively and use the weak points of your opponent and also how to use all these details because at the end you want to win the game. From the very first moment uh, when we had the conversation with the uh, direction and all the people from the club, it was obvious that uh, all of us and all the people, especially from the club, they want to improve certain things uh, if we speak about the team, you know. So our goal this season is to improve the team, especially if we compare to last season, try to improve and uh, build up as many as possible uh, young players who, uh, who have qualities, okay, to play on, uh, on a level in India Super League, and also to create one strong team who can compete in top of the table. So if we manage to do all these things, that then I can uh, say and we can say that we, uh, we have a good season. So actually, there are certain aspects and all these aspects, it's like a big puzzle. You have to put all the possible details on the right, right spot. So actually, if you organize all that, if you manage to organize all these things correctly on the right way, I think that we could all have a very nice and pleasant season.